And here at home, support for Ukraine is still strong. One year later, local companies, organizations, and Ukrainians are still holding fundraisers, supply drives, and donations for the Eastern European country. Our Tom Kowalski spoke with a few of those Ukrainians today. So, Tom, what does this mean for them one year later? Well, Mike, it appears that neither Ukrainians living here in Erie or back home have given up in their fight against Russia. They say it's incredible seeing not just Erie, but much of the international community rallying together behind them. And while those in Ukraine may be fighting with weapons and tanks, here in Erie, native Ukrainians are fighting to, get, to continue giving support to their homeland. They say, it's been, they say it's incredible to see the international community still with them and remind them and remind Ukraine that they will stand with them no matter what. If we're not going to fight for what we have, um, our identity will be lost uh, without that. And of course, there's, there's so many different nuances. You know, so I will say this, that we are with you. Uh, and we are here with you in, in our mental encouragement, uh, in prayer and spiritual support, in our fun, financial, um, any kind of economic support. We are here with you, and we have been doing it, and we will be doing as much as we are able to do so. Now, if you'd like to donate to the Ukrainian war effort, Logistics Plus is holding a fundraiser for Ukraine. You can donate at lpukrainerelief.com. We'll also have that link on our website. It's also on your screen right now. Uh, for now, live from the studio, Tom Kowalski, Erie News Now.